Welcome back from the episode. Last we left off, we're outside of the Silver Rush. I'm afraid I'm going to have to search you before letting you in. The only weapons allowed on the premises are the ones we're selling. Okay, search me. This should only take a moment. There. I've stored all of your weapons. You're clear to enter. When you leave, I'll hand them all back to you. Thank you. Now, what type of quest did they have for me? You got a problem? Welcome to the Silver Rush, where only top-of-the-line energy weapons can be found. What can I do for you? Uh, I was wondering if you had any work available. It just so happens a position opened up recently. We currently need another body to guard the entrance outside. Think you can handle that? Sure. Count me in. Wonderful. I already have a man outside who can show you the ropes and get you set up. His name is Simon. He's been with the family for years, so listen to what he says and follow his instructions. Okay. That's the one weapon I don't have. And now I do. Welcome to the Sylve. Ah, oh, crap. Don't tell me you're my new guard. Looks like we're stuck with each other. I've been paired with worse, I guess. Anyway, let's see if you can follow instructions. You'll be covering the other side of the door there. Take your position while I get your stuff out. Good. Look around and get a feel for where customers and risks can enter there. and exit the area while I get your gear ready. Okay, now let's get you geared up. First, your armor. Standard issue is your run-of-the-mill combat armor with a nice dark coat of paint for both brand recognition and sheer intimidation value. Next, your weapon. Guards are required to use rifles. Anything lighter compromises your combat effectiveness. Anything heavier and people are too scared to come in the door. What's your preference, laser or plasma? Plasma. Nothing wrong with going plasma. Just make sure you hit what you're aiming at. Now that you're equipped, a quick word on the job at hand. In a nutshell, we're here to keep the riffraff away. Drunks, punks, and capless vermin are to be turned away. Potential customers are to be permitted normal entrance. That is, after we pat them down for weapons. An unarmed man is a lot less likely to try to steal something with several armed guards around. Don't start any fights. I don't care if some jet junkie just insulted your mother. We're here to promote violence elsewhere, not start it here. Lastly, don't abandon your post. We're getting paid to stand next to this door, not talk to someone down the street or head to the casino. That goes double for any thoughts of splitting with that gear. Every now and then, some young punk thinks he can run off with Van Graaff property. Trust me, the rifle and armor are nice, but they're not worth your life. Other than that, relax. There's usually some eye candy coming and going from the Wrangler over there at some point, so the view's not too bad. Huh, I should check out the Wrangler. Got me wearing that armor. You got some hours left before your shift ends. Here comes a winner. I'll let you handle this one. Quick save. Hi there. Is this where I can pick up a laser gun? Sorry, sir, but I can't let you in. Company policy. Sounds like a stupid policy to me. Good. Stick to the rules. Damn it, I'm hungry. Should have shot him and ate him. Another one coming. You're on. Where's that the guy coming from? Ah, there he is. Uh, hi. I was, uh, in the area and thought I'd stop by to look at your weapons. 
Can I go in? We're gonna have to search you first. Fine by me. He's clean. See? Not so hard, is it? Heads up. Looks like we got another customer. That guy? Yep, here he comes. So attempting to just shoot him. Howdy! I just done broke the bank over at the Wrangler there and thought I might peruse your fine wares. Maybe lighten my purse a little? So nice, sir. We need to pat you down for weapons first. Now hold on here. I'm not packing any heat. Ain't my word good enough for you? I'm sure you're a man of your word, sir, but we still need to pat you down. No exceptions. I suppose it's all right. If there's no other choice. He's clean. See? Told you so. Looks like that guy's headed this way. Don't screw it up. Oh, that guy over there. Come on. Hurry it up. One shot. Bang. Let's go for a headshot right there. Hey, looking for something to replace my old revolver. Mind if I head in? Sir, we're gonna have to search you first. That's not really necessary, is it? I already told you I got this here revolver, right? Come from policy now, you gonna let us search you or what? Damn, I knew this wasn't gonna work! <laughs> Goodbye. What in the hell do you suppose that was about? Revenge note. Ammo, revolver, C4, damn. Help me clean this up. No one's gonna want to shop here with the corpse out front. Damn it, I was gonna chew on that guy. Crap. This I do not need today. Keep your head straight, rookie. Things are about to get interesting. Idiot stole my meal. Oh well. I'm sure we'll have more things to snack on. Hey, Simon. How's it hanging? Looks like you've got a little helper today. What can I say? Business has been good lately. We can afford to help. Good to hear, buddy. So is the boss lady in? You know she is. Why don't you go in and say hi? Nah, I got some rounds to run. But do pass along that I'm always thinking of her. Actually, I got a better idea. Make the new hire tell her. You'll do that for me, won't you? I'll be sure to pass it along. That's a good dog. Well, I'm out of here. Later, Simon. Way to keep your head, rookie. There's hope for you yet. It's just about closing time. Let's go see the boss about getting paid. Oh, I'm gonna need the rifle and armor back. Boss's orders. Weapon, my confusion. That and that. Keep moving. Simon's been telling me how it went. Let's do a quick recap. You kept away the undesirables, patted down the rest for weapons, and kept your cool. That is to say, you performed as instructed. Simon was impressed, and so am I. So you get a small bonus with your normal pay. Works for me. Unfortunately, I found someone else with a little more experience, and he'll take over the position starting tomorrow. However, another task has come up that I could use some help with. 
Assuming you're still interested in making some money. Always. There's a deal that we've been working on for a while now, and the buyer would like a sample of our weapons. I need you to run a package out to a discreet location that the client has chosen. Sound good? I'll do it. Good. Here's the package. I'll mark the location on your map. The buyer said they'd be in town for quite a while, so there's no rush. That said, try not to dawdle. This client could mean big money for us, which naturally means big money for you. Got it. Oh, I really want to take the rest of this stuff. Ah, uh, there'll be time for that later. Oh, I just lose karma. These guys don't hit me, do they? Nope, all friendly. Damn it, I'm hungry. World map. This should get me pretty close to it. God, I hope there's people that are gonna jump me. Save. Run this way. Are you the Van Graff's emissary? I am. Do you have what we requested? It's right here. Huh. Then our business is concluded. Tell your superiors that we will contact them shortly. Whoa! Where's that guy running? Oh well. Jump back to free side. Why was that guy running for me? Make a restop at the Atomic Wrangler, where the booze is cheaper Lasers. than the table. Nice, I don't get my weapon removed every time now. Welcome back. Did you have news for me, or are you just here for the guns? I delivered the packages requested. And? Don't leave me in suspense. What was their reaction? They seemed pleased and said they'd be in touch. Good. Good. Here's your payment. If you'll excuse me, I have some thinking to do. Oh. Jean-Baptiste was talking about a matter earlier that he needs help with. I volunteered you. See him for the details. Gotcha. Ah, just the person I was looking for. Your name came up in a discussion we had recently. My sister is very impressed with you so far, but I'm not. I don't think you have what it takes to work for this family. Luckily for you, I'm going to give you a chance to prove me wrong. What do you say? Want to make some real money? Absolutely. All right, then. If we're going to work together, there's only one thing you need to know about me. I like things simple. Recently, Glory negotiated a deal between us and a big-time player. We're talking more caps than you'd probably see in a lifetime. Your part in this is simple. To finalize this deal, I need to tie up a loose end. To do that, there's a girl I need you to find. Who is this girl? Give me a name and I'll take care of it. Her name is Rose of Sharon Cassidy. That's some fancy shit, right? Don't know what her mother was thinking with a name like that. But this girl and I, we need to have a discussion. Find her. Bring her here so I can talk to her. One on one. Cass is dead. Dead? What, by you? Yeah, I can tell you had something to do with it. Gloria was right about you. You take care of business before it's a problem. Anyway, Gloria's been antsy lately because that big deal she's been working on is finally going down. If this thing goes down, we'll have it made. Fucking maid, I tell you. Talk to her about it. I'm sure she'll want you along. And don't think I forgot your pay. A job well done is its own reward. But it doesn't pay for pussy at the local brothel, does it? Thank you. Good, you're here. Do you remember that package I had you deliver? Well, the client liked the sample and put in a massive order. It's possibly the biggest order we've ever supplied. I've had to repeatedly assure my mother that everything will go smoothly. And that's where I'm hoping you'll come in. 
We'll be bringing an escort, and I want you on it. What do you say? Count me in. Perfect. We're still getting everything together, but I can always find a use for idle hands in the meantime. Once we're settled, we'll head out to the rendezvous point. Where are we headed? They're taking an awfully long time inspecting the weapons. I'm beginning to think they're doing it just to unnerve us. Don't let them rattle you, though. The deal's almost done. There's just one last piece of business left. Speaking of which, I need you to listen to me very carefully. Things are about to get a little crazy. When I give the signal, follow my lead, okay? Got it. That's what I like about you. You follow orders, for the most part. Just remember to wait for the signal. Oh god, I don't want to turn I trust picture. you find everything acceptable? Everything seems to be in order. Kaisar will not soon forget this. No, I imagine he won't. It's a trap. Fall back. The commander is Over down. Here. Kill the rest. Come on. Trooper there. You like that? Goodbye. gonna win. Yeah, that was really hard to guess. Oh, shoot. That guy. Why are you going to push that guy off? Come on! Time to loot all these guys. Dog tags, knife ammo. I wonder where his gun went. 12 gauge, 5.56, ammo, hunting shotgun, service rifle. Ah, he must have picked it up. Wait. Items, aid. Why are they. Am I still detected? Search. Currency case five six knife dog take surface rifle. How can they see me? I'm hungry. I want to eat these guys. Shotgun ammo. Ah, shotgun or ammo. Shotgun, ammo. Seems to be what most of them have. Yeah, screw that. Is there anything useful in any of these? Yeah, take the mug. Scrap metal. But where am I? Actually, data, local map, abandoned warehouse. Somewhere in the middle of Mojave. Damn it, 
still detected. Five, five, six, ammo, knife, dog takes, I'll take all those. Knife, ammo, dog takes, and surface rifle. And his rifle. Oh well. Knife, ammo, dog tags. There you go, service rifle, dog tags. More of the same. Hmm. Ah, take this gun. They stretch you? Nope, there's the ammo. Guys. Ah. Good job. I need to work out some last minute details with our new clients, but after that, we'll head back to the rush. I suppose you have a few questions. Thank you, then, Sierra. Oh, I do. They're a bunch of corrupt, bullying fools who think they can tell everyone how to live their lives, and my family's fought them for years. But that's just it. Do you know how large the NCR army is? If they wanted to, they could have beaten us a dozen times over. Do you know why they haven't? Money. Every time things have gotten too tense, we've paid them off and laid low for a while. They're an enemy we can live with. This Caesar, on the other hand, is a different animal. We've heard reports for years from our agents to the east. He doesn't tolerate his enemies. He makes examples of them. And he doesn't have friends. Only servants. And the Van Graaffs serve no one but themselves. Given that, the choice was rather simple. I wouldn't you have made as much money dealing with the Legion? Hardly. They've got a lot of soldiers and slaves. But they don't come close to having the amount of wealth the NCR has. When I said we were going to be rich, I meant it. The deal I brokered with the NCR netted me five times what Caesar paid. Keeping Caesar's money was just a bonus. <laughs> the Van Graaffs are allied with NCR? Well, not exactly. The deal wasn't exactly sanctioned by my mother, but she'll come around when she hears about the profit I made. If she's smart, and she is, believe me, She'll turn this to her own advantage and make a bundle off our new connections in the NCR. What will you do now? It'll be all I can do to supply the NCR with the amount of weapons they want, so I'll be pretty busy for the foreseeable future. Oh, you're probably wondering if you still have a job. I don't have anything open at the moment, sadly. But we're going to need all the help we can get transporting guns to the NCR, so stop by every now and then and I might have a delivery job for you. And before I forget, here's your share of the take from the warehouse job. You can keep the armor. Thanks again for all your help. Thanks. Thousand ball caps. Three side fame. Damn, I got NCR fame. Let's see, stats, general, what am I to the NCR? Yes, I'm still vilified. Okay, I can live with that. Teach Jack new camera recipes. Items of peril. Put the remnants armor on. Huh, still have that issued armor. Click save. Gotta love being cloaked. Sell the ammo. These are CW. False minds. I think they'd notice, but luckily they don't. And there's some weapons over here, weren't there? That's her pistol. Muscle mines. Flamer fuel. Electron charge pack. Energy cells. And microfusion. Jump up there. Oh shoot, that was the only thing keeping me up there. There we go. There's the 
there goes every single weapon they had on display. I am so cheap. There we go. Now, quick save. What did we still have to do? I think that might be everything. I don't remember any other quests. Oh, the Wrangler. Let's see if there's anything in here. I've got my eye on you. So, Benny's dead, huh? That shifty son of a bitch had it coming. Ah, uh, so we have to zap. I'm looking for the learner. Do you have any work you need done? I have some work I need handled. Back before we instituted the caps up front rule, we used to allow customers tabs. Well, needless to say, a few customers snuck out without paying their bills. We need someone to collect. The job would pay a percentage. Ah, uh, well, I have to shoot it. it. Sounds good as long as they don't have to. What kind of caps are we talking about here? If you bring all their debts back, we'll give you a cut of each. 25% is more than fair. It would add up to 150 caps if you bring them all in. Kind of work costs time and money. 50, 50 would cover my expenses. All right. 50-50 it is. But you better bring back all of the caps. If we hear you crossed us, the next bounty hunter will be coming for you. Sounds good as long as uh, you got yourself a deal. Great. There are three people who need to be tracked down. A real mixed basket of fruits. Their names are Grex, Santiago, and Lady Jane. Grex? Grex is a bit cracked, but mostly harmless. Just don't mention anything about his lazy eye. He owes 138 caps and should still be around Freeside. Lady Jane? Lady Jane fancies herself a high roller, but she's just another dirtbag NCR prospector. I'm not sure where to find her. I hear she's run goods for the followers of the apocalypse in the past, but other locals might know more. She owes us 250 caps. Santiago? Santiago is a suave son of a bitch, but a total pansy when it comes to fisticuffs. He owes 212 caps and should be around Freeside as well. That's all for now. Anything else you need? Uh, goodbye. Till next time. Someone dead. Let's see what's over this way. Whoa, what the hell? I hit a speed bump. Lady Jane. Hello. Lovely to meet you. It's hard by the gears to track you down. In that case, I suppose you're here to collect. I apologize, but I simply do not have enough caps on me to cover the debt. If someone were to recover my caravan from that cave, I could easily pay in full. But who would bother with such a mess? To ensure the lady of your stature has honor sufficient to pay her debts. Oh, you charming, wonderful hunk of a man. <laughs> I agree. I cannot risk my reputation on such a paltry sum. Here is what I owe, paid in full. I may scrape a bit to get home to California, but I'm a resourceful woman. Here right. is the last known location of my caravan, if you feel like looking for it. Until we meet again, handsome. Is this hey! So now I head out. So I need Santiago and whatever the other guy's name was. I really need more things to make me run faster. I mean, I'm already shooting way faster than I should in any game, but still. It's always fun. If it can be bought, can it can be found at Mick and Ralph's. Okay, what's over here? Hey there. Hey, man. Can you spare a few caps? Cookie money to pay back the guards. Are you uh, the Grex who owes the Garrets? Yeah, cook the money to pay back the Garrets? No, are you the Grex who, owns, who owes the Garrets? That all depends on who's asking. You owe the Garrets a good lump of caps. I'm here to collect. 
Ah, crap. I was hoping they'd forget about my tab. Look, I've got the caps right here. Just don't hurt me. You don't cheat the garrison walk away. Cop the rest of your rat bait. Okay, here. That's everything I've got except the clothes on my back. I'm sorry about this. Hey, I think they'll make an example. Give me your clothes or your or you get dead. Anything. Take it. Just don't kill me, man. <laughs> That'll do, Mr. The Garrett's again and you're dead. Oh, by the way, damn I was just creepy. Get it checked out. <sighs> A scum humping water baron did this to me. No one trash talks the eye. Seriously, zombie are looking uh, at me or someone off that direction. That's it. No one insults the eye. Hey! Had enough? Huh. Get it coming. Yep. This is pointing over here. Where is that arrow pointing? I think someone on the other side of this wall. Yeah, here is. How are you today? Santiago is fabulous. You're the Gertz a bunch of caps. Santiago does not owe anyone. Santiago is a free side VIP. Santiago is dead if he doesn't cough up what he owes the Garrett's. Sir, Santiago does not know what he has done to a friend, but he can explain everything. I'd rather not kill you, but Fran Francine put a bounty on your head. I didn't think she was upset enough to have me killed. Here are the caps I owe. I do the Santiago act to get out of paying for services every once in a while. I didn't think it could possibly get me killed. Goodbye. See ya. Okay, why is this data quests? Finally, James Cameron collect caps from the remains. Where is that? Brock Flower Cave? Shoot, I'm out of time. Oh, here we are, but we're gonna end the episode here if you like. Oh, shit. Our hit squad, I think. But oh well, I'm just gonna let these guys. But if you like this episode, hit the like button, subscribe. If not, don't. And next time you come back, we'll continue exploring this cave. See you then.